hello viewers welcome to rtc today i am going to show you how to solve samsung j7 ffv lock on problem or samsung j710 f ffv lock on problem i am going to do this work in octopus by enabling adb first to do that you will have to first uh, enable your adb to enable your adb you will have to do uh, you will have to flash your phone to enable it you can flash it uh, through octopus or odin i have uh, my odin file that's why i am doing it on odin if i open my odin browser when you open your odin browser you can see a face like this here is there is no conf id if i connect my phone they will going to show me a conf id after a conf id we can flush our phone i have connected my phone the, uh, now they are going to show me a conf id Sometimes it takes some time, but it does not matter. Uh, wait for a while. It's going to show me. I don't know why this is taking some time yet. Yep, they have shown me uh, my conf ID. Now I am going to select my uh, file of odin and to select it click afe because there is one file and i am selecting it wait for a while here it, uh, where it is uh, here you can see samsung j10 adb uh, file i have selected it it's load up very quickly sometimes it takes some time but uh, why this loads up so quickly i don't know but now i am going to start uh, the flash to start the flash you will have to click start button uh, it will take uh, start your flash here you can see my flash is done already done now i am going to i have enabled my adb f and um, wait for a while then uh, your phone will open but if your phone is taking restart then if your phone is taking restart then hard reset or uh, hand format your phone it will solve this issue now i am going to flush my phone completely with octavus Um, yes, here it is. Um, I am opening my octopus. I am opening my octopus. To solve this issue, you'll have to uh, click on click on reset FRF reactivation. It will reset our FRF and it will reset our FRF and we will able to open our flash. I am selecting my model and and clicking. Mm, after uh, after selecting my f uh, model i am going to reset frf re uh, click reset frf reactivation i have clicked it now here you can see operation reset frf by adb uh, um it is going to work 100% uh, here you can see there is some logs they are showing us uh, FRF FRF is successfully reset now to reset your phone completely you will have to go to, uh, after opening your phone you will have to go to menu settings backup and reset and make 
factory data reset you will have to that means you will have to hand format with your phone through going the settings menu it will it will going to work 100 percent thanks for watching please if you like our video please like comment and share and don't forget to subscribe